Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to Code with Connor and the Arduino Basics tutorial series. Uh, this is lesson two. So in this lesson, we're gonna be taking what we did in lesson one and extending on it by bringing in a breadboard. We're gonna wire up an external LED on a breadboard. It'll basically work the same way as the LED we turned on and off in lesson number one, except the LED this time will be plugged into an external breadboard and it'll be an actual little LED light instead of the one built in on the Arduino board. First things first, once you've taken your breadboard and a few wires out of the package, we're gonna wire up our circuit and then we'll go look at the code afterwards. Let's talk briefly about a breadboard. This white thing here is a breadboard. They come in all shapes and sizes. Here's what's important for you to know. The row with the plus, and the row with the minus are all connected. Typically we use these for voltage and ground. The row on the top is not connected to the one on the bottom. We would have to make that connection ourselves. All of the inside sections are connected by column. So you can see on my screen how they light up green. That means all of these pins are internally connected. So if I plug something in the bottom here, and then I plug something in the top, they're going to be connected to each other. That's the nice thing about a breadboard. This middle channel acts as a break. There is not an automatic connection across the bridge. So you would need to make a jump with a wire from one end of the bridge to the other if you wanted that column to be connected all the way down. For this wiring diagram, we're gonna start by running a wire from pin number eight to one of the channels on our board. So I'm just gonna come up here to channel number 20. And just for fun, I'm gonna make my wire yellow. All I'm doing there is I'm connecting my Arduino pin eight to this column on my breadboard right here. Next, I'm gonna bring in a resistor. Now we haven't talked about resistors yet. Resistor looks something like this. It's a tiny little piece of electronic. Mine's blue on here. What it does is it helps resist the current heading through the circuit. The reason we use this with external LEDs is that we don't want to burn out the LEDs by sending too much current to them. We want to resist that current. Resistors come in all different sizes in terms of how much resistance that they provide. In your Arduino kit, you'll see a package for 220 ohm resistor. So in your kit, you have a bag full of resistors like this. If you pull them out, you'll see that it's labeled how many ohms it is. So this one is 220 ohms. Okay, so these are the types of resistors that we're looking for when we're wiring external LEDs. So I'm gonna take my resistor and I'm gonna use it to bridge that gap on my breadboard. So I'm gonna connect it here, channel 20, where I have the yellow wire connected all the way through to the other side of the breadboard, which now has created a connection or a bridge across that full column, that full channel 20 on my breadboard. Now that I have the resistor in place, I can hook up my LED light. So you can grab an LED light out of your kit. It doesn't matter what color you use. Uh, what you'll find is that by using a 220 ohm resistor on all LEDs, some colors will be brighter than others. You can get really technical with the exact resistance value for different colors. We don't go quite that technical with it uh, in this tutorial series, but feel free to do some uh, research on the internet if you wanna know more about that. So we're gonna bring our LED into our breadboard now. Now you'll notice on the LED that there's a long pin or a long leg and a short leg. We want the long leg to be the one connected to the resistor channel and the short leg is gonna be one channel over. In this case, I've got it hooked up to channel number 19. Our voltage is gonna come out of pin eight. It's gonna travel up this channel through the resistor, the long leg of the LED. Now the short leg of the LED, we're gonna to connect to the ground. All I'm gonna do is on this channel, maybe above my LED, I'm gonna run a wire to the ground channel. Now I'm gonna make that wire black just to make it clear that it's a ground wire. Now right now that ground is not actually coming back to my Arduino board. Remember this ground channel is not connected to this ground channel and I don't have any other wires going to my Arduino. What I usually do whenever I'm working on a breadboard is I will connect these channels. I'll take my voltage channel and I'll connect it here usually with a red wire and I'll usually take my ground channel and I'll connect it here, usually with a black wire. And what this does, it just makes sure that this row and this row are connected and that the two ground rows are connected. So now all I need to do is run a ground wire from my Arduino ground to that ground channel. And now if I follow my circuit from pin number eight to channel 20, through the resistor, over the bridge, into the long leg of the LED, through the LED itself to the short leg, up here to the black wire, which goes to ground, which jumps all the way back down to this ground channel, travels across, and back to my Arduino's ground port. So we have completed that circuit. That is all the wiring that we need to do for this activity. Now it's time for us to go have a look at what the code's going to be. So we're back into our code interface on the Arduino website or on an Arduino IDE, if that's where we're working. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new sketch. So what I'm gonna do, I like to give my sketch the name right away. I'm gonna give this sketch a name because I wanna make sure that I'm keeping things consistent. Lesson 02, 
In this lesson, we're going to be controlling an external LED. So I've just added a comment in here to say that that's what we're going to be doing. I also always like to have a comment about my setup function and what its purpose is and about the beginning of my loop function. Let's think about our circuit. Our circuit is going to jump from pin number eight to the LED, which means we need to define pin number eight as an output pin. So let's do that now. Inside our setup function, we're going to do pin mode and then we're going to put the pin number. In this case, it's pin number eight and then a comma, and then we decide whether it's an input or an output pin. In this case, we're gonna be sending a signal out to the LED, so it's an output pin. And we end with the bracket and the semicolon. So that's all the code that we need in our setup function. Now let's jump down to our loop. We need to actually send the signal to turn the LED on. Well, this is exactly the same as what we did in lesson number one, where we're gonna send that digital right, and then we're gonna send it again to turn it off. Stay with me here. Okay, so this code should look familiar from lesson number one. We have a digital write call where we're giving the pin number that we wanna send that write to, and we're setting the value to high. This means we are sending full five volts from the Arduino out through pin number eight, and then a delay. The delay works in milliseconds, remember? So this is actually one second. We do a digital write on pin number eight. This time we're writing a low value, which is essentially turning the signal off, and then again delaying for one second. So what should be the result of this is that our external LED, which if we wired it correctly, is plugged into pin number eight, should turn on for one second, then turn off for one second. This is gonna repeat over and over because this code exists inside of the loop function. I'm just gonna add a few comments to the code here to make it a little bit more clear for those of you who might be struggling. Now the code's got lots of comments in there. Feel free to pause the video, have a read of the comments if you've been struggling with figuring out what the different lines of code are going to do. If all goes well, at this point, you should be able to push this code out to your Arduino. We'll go ahead and do that now. It says that the code is pushed out to my Arduino successfully. Let's have a look and see if our light is blinking. So there you have it. On for one second, off for one second. Our circuit is working the way that it's supposed to work. Awesome. So now you have an LED on an external breadboard that's blinking. Why don't we extend this a little bit and take it one LED further? Why don't you wire up a second LED onto your board, attached to your Arduino, and then add in the additional code needed so that both lights are blinking together. You can even make the lights blink at different speeds if you wanna play around with that. Okay, so maybe the lesson and the extension were not enough for you. How about a little bit of a challenge? Why don't you wire up those two LEDs from the extension, except this time, take one of them and treat it like a long dash, take the other, treat it like a short dash, and get the two LEDs to do an SOS signal. One of them represents the longs, one of them represents the shorts, with a little bit of delay in between each broadcast so that it's clear that it is an SOS signal. Try that out and see if you can pull it off. And I'll see you back in lesson number three. Thanks for watching. And be sure to click like and subscribe to the channel to keep up with the Arduino Basics tutorial series and more to come.